There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. Well, I received some parts yesterday. I got these little rollers, and I'm going to mount those in the bottom of this uh, rotating man in the moon scheme that I'm going to put in the center here. And I'm going to hold it in place with some wheels. And that's what I'm going to drive it in, around with, are those wheels. I got copper paint, and I got uh, primer. And I got uh, the stuff to kick it off with. What it does is it patinas the, the metal. You, you paint it on, and it's actually a whatever type of metal coating you want. So it's the actual metal. I've got iron and copper. And then there's a solution you spray on it, and it gives it a whatever color patina you want. And I'm going for the green patina on the copper. And that's what this sheet of aluminum is going to be. So it's gonna look like a big piece, a giant piece of copper. So check it out, I uh, found a local little hardwood lumber yard. Uh, the guy mills his own stuff. And I got some maple, eight quarter, which means two inches thick. They're about six feet long, uh, $50 a piece. And they're, it's pretty nice stuff. I, he didn't hardly have any left and I had to get one with a knot which bummed me out a little bit because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saw them in half and then I'm gonna join them side by side. So I'm gonna have about a one foot wide piece that I'll be able to cut gears out of to make the leg. Just ran my piece through the planer and boy, it looks pretty doggone good. I mean that, I don't know if I get close enough to see, but you know, it looks pretty good. That's two pieces of three quarter inch oak. Now, whether or not there was too much spring back uh, remains to be seen. I'm going to make a, I'm gonna put some MDF on the table and scribe out the inside here. So I've got something that I can fit this thing to and make sure that um, I'm gonna clear the sides. Doggone it, there's always something, right? Uh, my piece of MDF wasn't quite wide enough to make my template for the center. And what I want to do is when I start cutting gears, I'll have somewhere to lay it out and place everything before I transfer it all over to the aluminum. Okay, I've cut all of my uh, maple in half and right now it's, it does, it's just basic planing. None of it's really flat, it's wavy. and and some of it's a little tippy and whatnot. So I've run it across the, uh, the shaper or the um, joiner and I've got one side that seems to be flat. So those are the sides I'll join together. All right, I just ripped down all the boards. So when I add them, join them together, um, they're gonna fit through my planer. It'll only accept 13 inches width. So I ripped it down to 12 and a half. That should be plenty wide for anything I need to do, I hope. Alright, I'm going to cut this off for now and get back to it, the video later. So I used the original template for my gears over on the big table to kind of work them into that shape. And basically, you know, steampunk is part Victorian, so I'm, I'm giving the legs a little Victorian look. I don't know if I like it. Um, it looks a little octopus-like to me. Right. After staring at this for a while, I think what I'm going to do is redo this. I don't like it. It's not pulling my chain. So I think I'm going to leave the front gears on it, on the face of it. But the back, I'm going to do 
my accentuated Victorian shape there. I just took out all my bolts. I'm gonna go wash them off, stop the uh, process here, get them all cleaned up. Well, I transferred uh, transferred the table cut out to this piece of MDF here, and uh, I didn't allow for spring back. So, but it's all a learning process, right? So I need to rebuild that or start over. <coughs> and um, yeah, it's just got a little bit of run out here and actually a lot, a lot of run out. You can see it goes way off. So back to the drawing board, but it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt, right? All right, here's both versions of the legs. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll leave it up to public opinion. All right, on to the next step. My sheet of aluminum here for my base quarter inch plate. I'm gonna go ahead and rough it up a little bit and then clean it and paint it. All right, it's roughed up with some probably 100 grit sandpaper and now I'm going to use some denatured alcohol and clean it off. All right, I went to Hobby Lobby today and I got some sponge from the hobby store some you know big wide sponges i've cut it up so i have plenty of chances for more coats i ordered from craft supplies usa uh, this is the primer i need two coats of that and then i have copper and it's it's real copper and so i'll do a coat of copper and then i will uh spray some green patina on it and it will kick off and this is going to be an ongoing project here but this should look like a piece of patinaed copper by the end of it all right there's the first coat i poured it out of the bottle in small sections and then i dabbed it with this sponge and this is the actual copper that'll go on after two coats of primer but you can see it's got that rough pounded metal finish look <laughs> Here's my little uh, hold, my little caps to hold it on. There's bolts all the way through. It's burr, 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 burr. And I gotta make another mold for the man in the moon because this one was too big. Hey, it's copper. All right, now I know why if you're doing it with a sponge, you need two coats because these bubbles pop. It leaves little bubbles and they, they tend to pop and leave voids. And if you try and come back after you've done your coat and dab out the missing bubbles, it shows up. You can actually see where I, I mean, you can't see it on video, but I can see where I went back on it. So anyway, two coats and um, I'm moving right along. I'm clamping up my legs. I have two of them done. And so I have to go to work, but uh, trying to get this knocked out so things can dry while I'm at work. Okay, so this is gonna be a slow motion video of the daubing of, <laughs> oh, I just pissed off my wife because I cut her off in a mid conversation. But anyway, honey, are you pissed? Oh, she doesn't know what that means. Honey, come here, come here, come here. You need to get get your face on the video. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick you up, so. Hi. No, no, oh, where are you? <laughs> You're too short. <laughs> okay, she's back. <laughs> she's a YouTube star. All right, it's uh, looking green, still wet. 
Um, I left some splotchy stuff in the middle. It looks a little dark on this side, but um, we'll see how it looks when it dries. Uh, whatever it, however it looks, it, it it's gonna look great. I, I like it. And I gotta have my phone back. I, I gotta go to work, so that's why I'm I'm stopping this time lapse. And uh, we'll take a look at it again this evening. See ya. Well, I tried to make the exterior a little darker, um, maybe a little splotchy in some spots. You can see, I can see where it looks like spray marks. But the cool thing is the outside edge is darker. And then my man in the moon is going to ride around the outside. So it's really going to kind of disappear. You won't be able to see these patterns um, right now, I don't think. So I'm happy with it in the long run, and it's beautiful, really. I mean, it looks like a big piece of antique copper, and I can't wait to get it mounted to the table. But right now, <clears throat> I just went and got some oak, and um, God, what is that? Hold on, I got the receipt right here. It's not something that I normally um, buy, so. But it's good for carving and bending. It's really good for bending. And that's what I'm gonna do, so give me one second. Sassafras. So it's like white oak for bending. It bends like that, but it, it's a good carving wood. And then I, I'm gonna machine carve uh, the walnut and I've gotta cut it and join it and, and make a wider piece because that's gonna be uh, my man in the moon. All this is for the man in the moon. I just cut out my first leg. Uh, you know, they'll have to be fitted, but um, let's see here. Here's my king. I'm gonna sit in there like that. That's one down, two to go. And then a bunch of sanding like this guy and I'm just gonna trash everything again and with dust I need to make a sanding table one of these days Okay, I've got the new mold for the uh, man in the moon face. Um, so the form's built and hopefully it's a new radius. So it's a much smaller radius to allow for some spring back. I didn't want to bore you with building of this thing. So, cause you've seen it before, but here's the frame that I'm gonna bend around. Well, that's it for now. We've got a rainy day out here today. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Episode 8 will be coming as soon as I get my butt back out there. Uh, just went on vacation and came back and haven't gotten motivated to do it yet. But I will. i got to finish this doggone thing. I started it. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And um, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.